Ciao friends and welcome to a new video from SQL BI. In this video, I want to talk again about the blank row in DAX. Now, I have already written articles and recorded videos about the blank row, why it exists, how it is generated, and the differences between distinct and values when handling with the blank row. But in this video, uh, the topic is slightly different. I totally get it, everybody hates the blank row. You just create a slicer, you slice by year, and the user selects a year, and you have 2022, 2023, and blank. Everybody hates that blank, up to the point that people typically add a filter to the slicer, saying, I don't want to see that blank. But the video is about explaining you that the blank row is good. It is the right thing to have. When you have a blank row in your model, that means something is wrong with your data. And if you didn't have the blank row, that would be even worse. So in the video, we start creating the blank row in the data model. And then we see that depending on the type of relationship that you create with uh, uh, your fact table and your dimension, the blank row might be there or not. Specifically, a relationship that crosses the border of data islands does not create the blank row. And many-to-many -many cardinality relationship, again, they do not create the blank row. And if you didn't have the blank row, things are even worse than if you had it. So, with no further ado, let's look at the demo. I have here our usual Contoso model. There's nothing fancy here. We have uh, uh, all the tables here that are not interested. I'm mainly interested in the relationship between customer and sales. Both tables right now, they are in import mode and the relationship is a strong one-to-many relationship. There's nothing complex here. I'm just slicing by continent and showing the sales amount. The total is correct and the individual rows, they sum up to the total. So everything works fine. Right now, I do not have the blank row because the relationship is valid. But creating the blank row is kind of easy. Let's get rid of some of the customers because the continent is part of the customer table. So we just remove some customers so that the relationship between customer and sales will no longer be valid. Meaning that customer, there will be rows in sales that have a customer key that is not present in the customer table. So let's do that. Uh, let's place it here. I have my customer table. I need to remove some customers. Uh, let's, for example, kill California. We add the filter saying, uh, I'm only interested in the rows that are not California. As soon as I close and apply, I need to refresh the data. And uh, now this relationship is no longer valid, meaning that there are customers in sales that are not present in the customer table. And if I look at my report, now I see the blank row. I have no continent, then Australia, Europe, and North America. And there is an amount, $800,000, that is not accounted neither in Australia, nor in Europe, nor in North America. This is the blank row. It's always there as soon as your relationship is not valid. So if you have a blank row, the way to fix it is just to make the relationship valid again. Check the relationship, check the values, and make sure that all the customers are correctly referenced. Now, the engine creates the blank row specifically in order to show you that there is a value that cannot be accounted to any customer. But the blank row is not always created. The blank row is not created if the relationship crosses an island. If the relationship crosses two data islands, then the relationship is a limited relationship. And limited relationships do not enforce the blank row. I want to show you that. And in order to show you this, uh, instead of uh, changing the customer table, let me load again the customer table, but this time we load it in direct query mode. So we will have two data islands, uh, the vertical continent with the import tables uh, and uh, the direct query island containing the direct query table. Then we build the relationship and we will see that the relationship is limited and the blank row is not there. Uh, so we need to open again, transform data. Okay, and I need to load again the customer table. So let's uh, connect to Contoso. Then we load again customer. 
And this time we say that we want the table to be direct query. And that's it. Now I have customer2. Let me call it customer DQ. And as we say, as we did before, let's kill California. We remove all the rows that are not, or we keep only the rows that are not in California. Then close and apply. And now we have a new customer DQ table, which is a shallow copy of customers. It contains the same data, but it is a different island. And you see that because this is white and this is blue. They are two different data islands. Then we build the relationship between customer key and customer key. One to many, regular relationship, everything is fine, but the relationship is limited. How do you know that it is limited? Well, if you look here in the relationship, there is the many side, there is the one side, and there are these two small holes in the relationship, which are present in a limited relationship, and they are not there in a regular relationship. If you look here, there are no holes. Where are the R holes here? That means that the relationship between customer DQ and sales is a limited relationship. Let me show you what happens if I use slice by customer continent. I just need to copy this, place it here. And instead of slicing by customer continent, we take customer DQ and we take the continent from customer DQ. We place it on the rows and look what happens. Maybe we can zoom in a bit. Look at the difference between this table and this table. The blank row is present when we are slicing by customer continent, the import table with the blank row. And it is not here when we are slicing by the direct query table. But if you look at the details of the numbers, now, this section is identical to these sections. The numbers are the same. The thing is, uh, this total here is not the sum of individual rows because uh, we are missing uh, these 800,000 that are not accounted for anything. So if you have a relationship that crosses multiple islands, uh, what happens is that the blank row is not enforced. And your report might be wrong because you are not showing any data that does not follow the relationship the right way. This happens not only when you have uh, a relationship that crosses multiple islands, but whenever the relationship is a limited one. For example, you can create a limited relationship instead of using direct query by creating a many-to-many -many cardinality relationship. To do that, let's change Customer DQ, we move it again to import mode. No, actually, we just move it in import mode. Click OK. Now the table is refreshed. And you see that now the relationship is no longer limited. And if I look back, you see that customer DQ is slicing and there is the blank row. But in order to force the relationship to be limited, we can just double click on it and change it from many to one to many to many. If that goes to a many to many relationship, then it becomes again a limited relationship. Let's click OK. And you see that now we do have our holes in the relationship. Despite the problem of speed, the, the relationship is slower. We also have the problem that now the blank row is no longer there. So the blank row exists only for strong relationship inside the same data island. Limited relationship, they do not enforce the blank row. As you have seen, the blank row exists as soon as you have a relationship that is invalid. The blank row is good. The blank row shows you that you have a problem with your data. You need to go back and clean your data if you want the report to look nice. Hiding the blank row, removing the blank row, or ignoring the blank row is an issue. The blank row should not be there, but it is there in order to guarantee that your report shows the correct values. And if you use limited relationship, then the blank row disappears, which is not good. You are producing reports where a regular additive calculation just do not sum up individual rows to the total, and that is even worse. So clean your data and the blank row will never bother you. Enjoy DAX!